weekly nail care routine. Apply to cuticle remover, push back and cut my cuticles. I'm using my backup nippers since my go-to got nail glue on them and don't even ask, I don't know how it happened. Then I used an acetone and brush to clean up. Applied a nail strengthener for some extra love and finished off with some cuticle oil. How to make weak nails stronger. Hey guys, if your nails are peeling or brittle, this is for you. Grab a bowl, get some olive oil, get a slice of lemon, squeeze a bit of juice, soak your nails in it for 10 minutes, twice a week. You call me again, drunk in your bed, driving home under the influence. Scared me to death, but I'm wasting my breath Cause you only listen to your fuck I don't relate to you No, I don't I don't relate to you, no Cause I How I grew my nails from this to this I use a cuticle softener first then I use a cuticle pusher to remove the dead skin from don't my nail bed. Satisfying. Remove the debris. Optional, I like to do this makes my nail look clean. Filing straight across. Then file the sides. Remove dust. Nail strengthener for when I don't have anything on my nails. This step has made such a difference. Use cuticle oil to extra dead. I use peel off face coat when making content. This keeps my nails healthy. Also great for anyone who wants to practice or change their nails often. Damage free nails. Y'all keep asking. So here's my simple nail care routine. When no corners, they can get caught. Round nails only. Two, use a moisturizing oil. Here's what I use. Use a brush or finger to coat entire nail. Here's the magic. Coat the underside as well. Watch my nail turn clear. And no, they're not flimsy and thin. That's it. Simple and easy. The snow in the mountains was melting, and Bunny had been dead for several weeks before we came to understand the gravity of our situation. <laughs> A couple of times a year, I like to start fresh and cut down my nails. I had a few nails breaking recently, which I did repair with silk, and it seemed to keep them together, but I think it's probably a sign that I've left them for a bit too long. As always, when cutting a lot of length off the nail, I'm just checking the hypernychium, which is the skin attached to the underside of the nail. This marks the shortest point that I'm able to cut my nails down to. So now they're all cut and filed, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of cuticle prep. I push back my cuticles regularly so there's not really too much there. So I'm just carefully nipping off any non-living tissue. Wipe with pure acetone and apply a slip layer of clear all-in-one BAB. Go in with a small bead of BAB and refine this using liner too. I'm applying two coats of the shade Cashmere and here's the finished look. Let me know what you think, do you prefer my nails long or short? If you want to see my updated nail care routine, keep watching. I now use gloss nail files and highly recommend that you do too. They cause much less abrasion to your natural nails. And I like to file in one direction to prevent the nail keratin from fraying. I'd only recommend using a nail strengthener if your nails are very soft and flimsy. My index nail is strong yet flexible, which is exactly what we want. Whereas my pinky nail is very flimsy and it feels like it's going to snap in half. So I'm only going to apply strengthener on this nail. 
I've been loving this hydrating lotion from CND. It contains avocado oil, shea butter, and prebiotic complex. I like to really massage it into my hands and into my nails and cuticles as well. I swear by this keratin treatment. It contains both jojoba oil and sweet almond oil, as well as keratin protein that helps strengthen the nail plate. I apply this every night before I go to bed. And the last step is cuticle oil. It hydrates your nails, resulting in less breakage and increased flexibility. Massaging it in will promote blood flow to your nails and help them grow. And it keeps your manicure intact by preventing chipping. The internet believes my natural nails are fake, let me prove to you that they're not. Those square nails were my nails a year and a half ago and these are my nails today. Same length, different shape. As many of you know, I use a rubber base on them for strength and have been refilling them every 4 weeks. Today, I'm removing everything, most likely taking off layers of base that probably date back a few months ago. I usually never remove the base fully because that's what allows them to stay strong and grow the way they do. So I removed the bulk with a soft carbide bit and now I'm using acetone to get my nails fully naked. One thing about me is that I hate acetone. All the years of being a nail tech, I avoid it like the plague. Because I focus on natural nail growth, that's what I do and acetone isn't needed for gel overlays. But I had to prove the internet wrong so here I am removing my nail support system. Would fake nails have these natural curves and bends? Who knows, maybe I'll even cut them all off and show you how to grow them from scratch. to the moon and let me play among the stars let me see what spring is like on jupiter and today i'm going to do my own nails and i start by exfoliating my hands I like to do this hand care routine every time I remove my gels. Next I'm using the cleansing oil from Clay Depot. I really like this serum because it's light and also it strengthens the skin from within. Next I'm using the multi repair oil and I will apply a generous amount and let it soak for about 30 minutes. I wipe the nails with pure acetone to remove any excess oils from the nail plate then I'm going to build an extension on my ring finger. To create this extension I'm using the gel bottles only in one clear builder gel and then milky bee up. I like this technique because it makes the extension look more realistic. Then I'm going to file and buff the nails into shape. I really like how the extension turned out, you barely can tell that I had broken that nail. I'm finishing the manicure with Extreme Shine Top Coat and this is the finished look, let me know what you think. Oh yeah, my like nail care routine for me my short like nails.
My nails need a total break, so I'm gonna take off my nail polish and add two coats of the Essie Hard to Resist Nail Strengthener. This is just what my nails need. And now, since my cuticles are always really crusty, once this is dry, I'm gonna add the Honor Roll Cuticle Oil. I need to keep this in my bag and apply it like all day every day because it's so good and stops my skin from peeling and it really keeps my nails hydrated. And that's it, that's my nail reset. Hello, hello, it's nail care day. Let's sit back, relax, watch me take out all the gunk out of my nails. It's been a while since I've done one of these because I associate nail care with just me. Less pressure when I'm not filming, of course. I try to do nail care like every two weeks and not much has changed since my last video. The only thing different is I am doing a nail strengthener just to take a break from dip and in a few days, I'll probably put the powder back on. My nails and hand feel so smooth. Hi everyone, so I got a lot of questions on my previous video asking how I keep my nails from breaking, so I thought I'd share my nail care routine with you guys. I always trim my nails using straight edge nail clippers, and to shape my nails, I use a 100-180 grit hand file. When you file your nails, you want to make sure you're not sawing back and forth. You want to file in the same direction, otherwise you can damage your nails. You can also smooth the surface of your nail using a buffer. Now for cuticle care, you can either use a metal or wooden cuticle pusher to push back your cuticles. I do use a cuticle nipper to trim my cuticles, but this step is optional. Next, I will go in with two coats of my OPI Nail Envy. It's rare that I don't wear color on my nails, but I always wear at least two coats of nail strengthener to prevent breakage. The last step is to apply cuticle cream or cuticle oil to the skin around and underneath your nails. In my opinion, this is the most important step to growing strong and healthy nails.